Well, good morning and welcome back to City Line. As you saw on the wide shot, boy, I have a powerhouse couch here for this segment. Uh, this is um, all about the Tacoma Urban League. And if you don't know what the Tacoma Urban League is, well, brace yourself, Effie. You're about to find out. <laughs> uh, please join me in welcoming Tawana Nobles. You are the president and CEO of the Tacoma Urban League. Welcome, my dear. And big congratulations on your recent nuptials. Thank Man, you. were you it? You about broke Facebook, sweetie, you were so beautiful. Thank you. Unbelievable. This amazing woman next to you, Victoria Woodards, you are the Tacoma Urban League's 50th anniversary legacy honoree, former employee, and the mayor of Tacoma. That would, be that would be you. Welcome back, That's sweet so pea. It's so good to be here. It's so great to have you here because you are so busy these days. You <laughs> are just a, a flurry of energy around the, our town of what you're doing. So thanks for taking 12 minutes. Absolutely. Glad yeah. to be here. All right. So I know that you two finish each other's sentences. You're like <laughs> sisters. Um, so when mother I Mother daughter, them, more like mother daughter. Mother yes. daughter, yes. yes, mother daughter. <laughs> there we go. Aunt and niece. Uh, what is the Tacoma Urban League? You start, and if you want to jump in, sure. you jump in. But yeah. what is it? Tacoma Urban League is a civil rights organization, a legacy civil rights organization, and it has been around for 50 years. And um, like most urban leagues around the country, we fo focus on workforce development, education, housing, and health care. So we just want to make sure that individuals in our community, um, primarily African Americans, other groups from underrepresented communities, and then our entire community, we want to make sure that they have access to the opportunities that we know exist in our community. Absolutely. So, uh, Victoria, how did it get started? Wow. Yeah. So 50 years ago, right? 1968. Wow. We were just all twinkles, and you were still yeah, she floating wasn't, around. She was, she was, <laughs> but Victoria she, and I were just yeah, babies. exactly. But we were there, right? We were there. We, we, we were there. We were, we were born by then. That's right. But um, 1968, um, there were some things happening in Tacoma um, that African American leaders saw and were a part of and thought it was the right time for an urban league in Tacoma. So Thomas Dixon, the founding yeah. president and CEO, who we all love and adore, who is just an incredible human being in our community, um, got it started with help, from, with help from companies like Warehouser and the support of the University of Puget Sound mm. and lots of others um, in the area, started the Urban League in 1968. Oh, my God. And started, you know, kind of, people always say, well, I've heard of the NAACP. What's the Urban League, right? And so um, I, I, I liken the explanation always to, so the NAACP is is really, they're, they're huge advocates, right? They're the ones who bang on the table and knock on the doors and demand that people, you know, hire African Americans and those who are disadvantaged and, and provide services and opportunities. And once they banged on the door and, and advocated for it, then the Urban League trained those people and got those people ready to step into those jobs. And so in 1968, um, they, they knew that Tacoma needed an Urban League. And so they started one. They started, and Thomas Dixon, boy, you are right. That yeah. man, he has wings and halos all over the Absolutely. place. Absolutely. He does. So um, I want to find out, I know that there are uh, a lot of uh, programs that you, that the Urban League is known for. And we have some pictures, and I want those pictures to kind of roll by because I also uh, want to talk about some of the upcoming events that you have, and that's really why we're here. So, Tawana, let's talk about those upcoming events that are focused towards celebrating. Great. Well, this is our 50th anniversary. And yes. Like many people, when they have a milestone year, yep. we're going to have a celebration. So, on Friday, October 5th, we're going to have our 50th anniversary gala at Hotel Murano. Mm. And so we are just excited to have a, a wonderful, wonderful time. Um, but I have to also mention that we have our luau coming up on December 1st. Yes. And um, that's just an annual event that we um, where we have a good time and our friends and community members join us and there's dancing and great food. It sells out every year. <laughs> every year. Every year. And I have to do the um, final dance so they get to see the president and CEO dance Oh, I can, I'm coming. Oh, 
Absolutely. You know. Oh, there, there. oh, there she yes. is practicing. <laughs> Look, nice. When I was a CEO, I had to do the very same thing. Yeah. It's a tradition. <laughs> it is. Yes, that. it's a tradition. That is fabulous. So besides this being a milestone year, what makes this year so special, Victoria? Well, you know, as I was talking earlier about, you know, getting it started in 1968, um, one of the things that the Urban League and, and what's so special about the league, not just in this year, but, a, but a, in, in, in its history, is that the league produces leaders, like people who come through the Urban League. Look who's on the couch. Right, right. I mean, thank you. I started, I, I started as Thomas Dixon's assistant. assistant. And now I'm mayor of the city of Tacoma. I, I mean, I tell people this story all the time. Um, when I started working for Tom Dixon, I would go through these five by seven cards and they had all the names of all these people in the city. Um, and that's how I learned everybody who lived here, all the movers and shakers in town. Yes. That's how I learned. But it, it is, it's a, it's a place that grows leaders. It does. Um, you think about Harold Moss worked at the Tacoma Urban League. Tom Hilliard worked at the yes. Tacoma Urban League. Just all these, I could go, there's a long list of people who've worked at the league. But so this 50th year, let's think about how many organizations, how many nonprofits actually last 50 Thank years. Thank you. And it's not, it's, there's not a lot out there. It's hard running a nonprofit. As a former CEO and current oh. CEO, talking, it's, I mean, it's hard work. So to be able to celebrate 50 years of giving back to this community, um, that's what makes it so special. Yeah, it it's, it's the people who've had an opportunity to go through there. I mean, I'm sure Tawana could tell you stories. I could tell you stories of people we run into all the time who have benefited from being in a program at the Tacoma Urban League. Yeah. Well, look at you too. I mean, yeah. I, I, I've, I've watched Tawana for the past 10 years um, when your children were just tiny, <laughs> tiny, and you were just getting your feet wet in some community programs. And Victoria, you had just stepped into Metro Parks. Yeah. And now look where you are now. Wow. Right. And then let's also slide it across because we want to give equal airtime. Look at the Black Collective. All of those powerful men yep. go on to mentor the Corbett's all of those things, and that's yeah. why. That's not lost in our community Absolutely as it is not. in so many communities. And it makes me so incredibly proud. Oh, it, it's just, I bubble over. <laughs> okay, so there's gotta be some special highlights to want to look forward to in the gala, knowing you two, so what is it? <laughs> yeah, well, I think the most special thing, and Victoria is here because she is one of our Legacy yeah. Award recipients, <laughs> um, and we are gonna give away six Legacy Awards. And um, you talked about kind of why this year is important, why it's not only a milestone. And Victoria mentioned that there have been so many people who have um, been impacted by the Urban League, have served at the Urban League. Mm -hmm. And so this is our time to, gosh, and I wish we could celebrate everyone, but this is our mm -hmm. time to just choose some of those community members. So we're going to honor our founding president, Mr. Thomas oh. Dixon. We're going to honor uh, Ms. Kathy Hall who um, you might know from Bembridge Jewelers. Yes. We're gonna honor Ms. Bonnie Pinckney, who currently serves on the board and has served for 25 years. Wow. Mr. Dean Sugimoto, who was our VP of Finance. And we're gonna honor University of Puget Sound um, as well, because they provided the very first financial contribution to the Urban League 50 years ago. Yes, thank and I you. hope that I mentioned all of the, I think I got all, the, all of the honorees yeah. there. Um, but I think that's the highlight of the event. Um, I'm also going to reveal our strategic plan for the next five years. And so that's just really special to me as a CEO to co communicate to the community um, where we're headed, but also to celebrate and recognize where we've come from. Absolutely. What does it mean to you to be honored like this? Uh, so I'm not one who, I, like, I know people, it comes with the job or it comes with working in community. I mean, I, I feel, I feel completely honored to be honored, but, um, when I first went to the Urban League, I mean, it's, it's, it's tough work, right? It's yeah. really rewarding, but it's hard work. And I don't wake up every day thinking, you know, wondering who's going to recognize me for what I've, what I've done. I wake up every day doing the work because it's important to do. Um, it always feel, feels good when somebody recognizes you, right? But I'm more excited about recognizing people like, you know, the University of Puget Sound and Thomas Dixon and Kathy Hall, who people may not know all in community, but she was a board chair when I worked at the Urban League mm. before. I spent 13 years yes. serving at the Urban League. Yeah. Right? yeah. Wow. I want to tell you why I'm excited to honor her. Well, you tell me. <laughs> yeah, I want to. Because she can be as humble as she wants to she be. She is. 
But <clears throat> my first time in the studio, um, I was her campaign manager. Yes, she was. Never into TV Tacoma. Um, was just carrying her things and just was in awe at how, how great she is in front of the camera and just speaking about the work that she does. And so it has been an incredible journey to have her as my mom, as my mentor. Aww. And so I have to celebrate her and recognize her, not just for how much she has served Tacoma Urban League, but this community. And it's exciting for me because of how much she has poured into me. Yes. I am a little bit good. Oh, she's a lot big great. <laughs> okay, so you know what? She's a lot big great. <laughs> I, I am having this deja vu that oh in goodness. 10, 15 years, it just like spun. I almost got dizzy. It's going to be flipped. And so you're going to be in this spot. I don't know. Who, and there's going to be another person sitting here. There's going to be another here. person Absolutely. sitting here. And Victoria, That's what it's about. you're going to be at the end. And it's oh. going to be like this trinity of this, this, and this. See, but, but 10 years ago or 20 years ago, it was it was me yeah. and it was Tom Dixon and Harold Moss, exactly. right? And so this is what this is what the Urban League is all about. We say, exactly. you know, once an urban leaguer, always, always an, an urban, urban leaguer. leaguer. Okay, so <laughs> I have two minutes left. I want to choose my questions carefully because I could do a whole hour with <laughs> each of you. Okay, so let's talk about for the next fifty years. What's your vision? I want that to be the last question mm. besides the thank yous. What's yeah. the vision? Well, my vision for Tacoma Urban League is that fifty years from now. We'll be celebrating our 100th year yes. serving this community. Um, that 50 years from now, honestly, there can be many people who are sitting here because they have been impacted by not just me, but by the legacy of this organization. Um, Tacoma Urban League has so much potential, so much to give, and it has just a strong, strong foundation to build on. So I want to see far more urban leaguers and people who um, want to be part of this movement. And, and I believe that. We'll be still standing. Well said, like a very wise CEO. What do you got to say there, Miss Honoree? You know, I think I think Tawana hit it on the head. Um, I I may not be here 50 years from now, though I'd love to be here. But um, that the league celebrates its 100th anniversary. That that the people who sit on this couch have been impacted the same way that we've been impacted. Yes. Um, and that Tacoma Urban League just continues to do the great things it's always done in this community. I love it. All right, 20 seconds. Who do you need to thank? Everybody. <laughs> everybody who's touched it, right? Thank you, everybody. Every, every donor, every volunteer, every board member. Every sponsor. Um, every sponsor, every, gosh, everyone who believes right. in the work that we do. All right. And I want to thank both of you for being here today, for taking time out of this busy, busy time. And for, um, gosh, just for shining so bright. You two are such vessels of success and spiritual truth. Yeah. I thank you so much for what you put into our thank community. I love you both. Congratulations. You. <laughs> when we come back after this quick break, we will have Green Day Tacoma here to talk about their program. You don't want to miss that. We'll be right back.